Welcome back to part 16. Wow, we've already been through so much together. I feel like we're probably best friends now, so we've got a bond that will transcend the generations. Anyway, as promised, in this step we are going to create our window using extrusion, which we touched on in the previous step. So we're going to need to turn on our room layer for this, so I'm just going to put a V there, and we can see this is apparently the angle that I'm looking at my room, so I'll just spin that around. Lovely. And now I want to put my window in over here. So in order to do that, the first thing I want to do is put my room into, or this wall specifically, into face mode. So I'm going to do that by holding the right mouse button and choosing face and then releasing the mouse button. And you can see now that each face is highlighted in red to indicate that I can select it. So what I'll do is I'll select this face here on the inside and I also want to just swing around and holding shift and left clicking, I'm going to select the one on the back side as well. This is so the window will go all the way through. We need to do this extrusion on both sides. So you can see I've now got both sides selected. You can also, if you want to, just do a marquee selection like that through, and that will select what's on the front and back of that selection. Okay, so with those both selected, the next thing we're going to do is extrude them. So I'm going to get extrusion here from Edit Mesh and just click on extrude. You can see the keyboard shortcut is control and E and that's how I normally do it. So there is extrusion. So you get this little box over here. This gives you some things that you can change and you also get this universal manipulator tool here. You can see this has got a rotate, scale and move all built in to the extrusion tool after you've done it which can be really useful. So I'm going to use this tool here. So I'll click on one of the squares for scale and then if I just bring that scale in, you can see that that brings it in like that. And it should be doing that so that it's flat and it's happening on both sides. So I want this window to be fairly square. So I'm just going to make it square. And I'm just going to use the move tool on this manipulator as well to move it into place. So I want to. Sometimes the, uh, the move tools can be inverted on this one. Uh, and it might be that, yeah. So you can see there, the move moves it up on one side, but down on the other. So I'm just going to undo that, because I want them to be at the same height. That's okay. And I will switch to the normal move tool to move that up. So now we're going to change tools here to the move tool, and then move it up. And you can see that that now happens together. And then I'm just going to scale it up so that this window kind of fills this area. Yeah, that's nice. And what's good about this is that the geometry all still makes sense. So I had one quad, which is a four-sided shape here, and I've now split that into more quads. So I've got a four-sided shape here, one here, one here, one here, and one here. So the geometry still makes sense and still flows. Now that that's done, I just want to delete both of the faces. So I'm just going to hit my delete key, and that now creates us our hole in the wall. So that's our first extrusion done. Well done, I am really proud of you. In the next step, we're going to patch this up. So you can see what that's done is created holes inside. We've got this hollow area. And we don't want that, we want some geometry to fill that. So the next step will be all about filling holes. <laughs> Naughty. Game Dev Academy is graciously supported by these absolute legends. If you'd like to offer your support, then check out our Patreon page using the link in the description below.